Hello, I'm Rodney Booth, and I'm the owner and operator of the Country Corral and have been for over 20 years. Running a business is like riding a bull. You never know which way it will go. Unfortunately, things don't look so good. And so after a couple of attempts of doing something different with the club, I've decided to try the corral once again. So jump on the bull and sit back and watch the remaking of the Country Corral in King, North Carolina. So, uh, I mean, you might want to get This ain't going to be good, is it? No. So, you know, we're going to do this thing with the girls mm -hmm. and you and Steve, right? Um, you know, last night we had girls lined up that was getting the shooters off the girls. Okay. Now, what if we have a guy to come up and want to do it off the of girls? Are you going to have a problem with that because we got to cover that before we you know, have a big incident? I mean, the girls don't have a problem with the girl doing it with me. Well, hey, Richard, I think you'd be okay because you was in military. I mean, you know. What does that have to do with well, that? Well, that still goes, you know, till the end of the year, you know. Don't ask, don't tell. After the end of the year, you can tell everybody you want to and you can about Well, but the don't ask, don't tell policy was passed, the repeal. Right. There was no action for 60 days, so maybe we won't have that for 60 days following line with the law. Well, it seems to me that there was a person. I don't understand what you're saying. But right. But, but I don't need it. Yeah. You so think you're not in the military no more. So what I, what no wonder I, we lost the war. <laughs> what I'm gathering is, is that can't find Bin Laden. You want to know? <laughs> He's in the belly button. You want to know if I am okay with a dude taking a body shot off of me? Right. Boss, I'm not. <laughs> and how come? I mean, the girls don't have a problem with it. And I don't have a problem with the girls not having a problem with that. Well, then that's sort of what do you call okay. it? Okay. Let me, just there, it? Yeah, hell yeah it is, and I'm happy to be that way. Okay, so, but let me just ask you, put yourself in my shoes for a second. Okay. Put, unzip your zipper a little bit, mm -hmm. put the one things in there, and let, we, we won't even call him name. Right. But you know who I'm talking about. Right. Let him walk up to you and be like, oh, oh, oh. I'll do one for the team. She, I, yes. You got to take one for the team. Yeah, but one for the team. But it may not be you. It it's might gonna, be Steve. It's gonna ne That's gonna be something that I'll never live down in this bar. No, because you know they'll say Richard took one for the team. If that happens, and if if there's a guy, that you think it will happen? Because you're getting really nervous. I am getting nervous now. Because I mean, we just brought it up. It wasn't my like, You know, it's really gonna happen. What? Okay. Yeah, but, but you I think it might happen. I know so some of our you customers. Know something that we don't know that we should know. My head is hurting. I need still my thermometer. Wait a minute, I still want to know how Bin Laden factored into it. Because we still haven't found that son of a bitch. I know they know where he is. Well, if you do, why don't you get him? We'll split the money. I don't know where he is, but they got to know where he is. Really? They wouldn't tell you when he was in there? They wouldn't tell you. But I didn't want to get the reward money. I had a secret security clearance, but how much reward money is he? Like, what, Twenty million dollars. I'll shoot him for twelve dollars. We're talking about. Okay, work with me. <laughs> Do you think we can get it, get us in then, so we can find him and collect the money? Well, I don't know. But back to this queer body shop thing. Um, there wasn't nothing queer about it. No, that, <laughs> that you're calling. That. Well, that's because if a dude takes a body shot up, yeah, that's gay. But it's not gay for a girl to do it to a girl. It's beautiful. <laughs> don't make any sense, Rick. <laughs> Well, no, I, they may not mind that. However, I don't believe there's a shower or enough soap to get me clean after that. Well, you're not going to be totally naked. You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're all out if a guy lines up on the, get a shot of bootlegger. You're all just like completely, you'll get up off the ball, right? So what you're trying to tell me? Is that what you're saying? No, Rodney, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> Could you bring Steve in? Let me ask him the sure. same thing, man. <laughs> Good God, Steve. Don't let him know. Oh, Lord. Yes. Okay, it was brought to my attention here, and i got to see. I saw how Richard felt, and i got to see how you will feel now about this. Uh, 
It's like Ashley was saying, you know, last night. You saw over there. They were women were taking shots off of the women, right? Okay. So now let's just say now we're not saying that this will happen, but we got to cover it before it does. If a guy lines up wanting to get a shot off of you, are you gonna have a problem? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can keep your eyes closed, you can look wherever bartender you're at and not even know that they're doing it. Well, I have a problem with it. Yeah. Well, Richard didn't have a problem with it, but you know, it's going to make sure nobody's got a problem. Because <laughs> it may not happen, and it may happen. You know, we've got to cover it. Just in the middle of the night, I don't need somebody coming across saying, hey, there's a big fight. They just broke out because somebody lined up wanting to get a shot off of Steve or Richard. And they refused to. I got a problem with it, but I guess I'd have to do it if I got to do it. You got to do one for the team, right? I guess I'd have to do one for the team. And we wouldn't make fun of it if you did it because, you know, you took one for the team. Yeah, I know you would. No, I would do it, you know. I would do it. Next up. Maybe we ought to make Rodney do it. Maybe we ought to make you do it. No, I'll be DJing. I come up with the ideas and... Christina can watch the DJ booth. No. Be like a JD up there. Nobody can sweat that profusely. Are you serious? We don't have to... We can get him next week. So, yeah, behind the soundboarding, lay down on that one right there, and then they can come around. Uh, that'd be a good person to get. It would be. Once again, thanks for watching the video of the Country Corral in King, North Carolina. Be sure to join us again next time. Tell all your friends. The Country Corral in King is a place to party.